Okay, um, remember in the last video we were talking about isometries. So that is a linear transformation such that the norm of T of V is the norm of V for all V. So that's an isometry. Okay. It just means um, when you apply T, you don't change the length. And remember, we showed that um, so if V is finite dimensional, then you know that all the is isometries have that T star T equals the identity. Those two things are the same. Um, why do we need that V is finite dimensional? Well, that's how we define T star. We need V is finite dimensional to define T star. Okay. And what's a finite dimensional vector space? Rn and Cn. So let's see what what are isometries for um, well, like the linear transformations are matrices and, and what are the isometries and so on. Well, let's see. So we have a definition. So um, a complex matrix such that u star u equals the identity that's going to be called unitary. Okay, so let u be an n by n complex matrix and suppose u star u is the identity then u is called unitary or a unitary matrix and we can make the same definition but for the real numbers and then we call the matrices orthogonal so let Q be an n by n real matrix suppose so now for a real matrix like conjugate transpose well conjugate doesn't do anything so it's just transpose so here if we suppose Q transpose Q equals the identity, then Q is called an orthogonal matrix. Okay. Okay, so we have orthogonal matrices in Rn, and we have unitary matrices in Cn. say something we can say that um, the relationship of the columns the the columns of U um, they tell us Like if U is unitary, the columns of U have like a special property, right? They're orthonormal and similarly for an orthogonal matrix. Okay. So we just have a little proposition. Okay. Let Q, okay, I guess I should say the following are equivalent. So first Q is an N by N. Let's say real matrix, and the following, I guess the following are equivalent to EFAE. First, the columns of Q are an orthonormal basis for Rn.
to Q is orthogonal three Q transpose is orthogonal or the rows of Q are an orthonormal basis. Let's see why. And, and, and if, if U is an n by n complex matrix, there's like a similar um, situation, which I'll try and summarize after. So let's prove this, and then we'll, I'll state this situation for unitary matrices, which is quite similar. Let's see how we can prove this. So if the columns of Q are an orthonormal basis, let's write them out. Let's write Q equals u1, u2, all the way up to un. These are my orthonormal basis of Rn. And I'll just look at uh, q transpose q. What is that? Well, that's just um, q transpose is like u1 transpose, u2 transpose, un transpose, and we multiply by u1 to un. Okay. Now this is like a an n by one block matrix times a one by n block matrix giving us an n by n matrix, right? And the entries are just like the first the one one entry is u one transpose u one. Uh, then we get u two transpose u one, etc. Yeah, u two transpose u two, u n transpose u n, and like. On the diagonal, we have u1 transpose u1, u2 transpose u2, etc. And on the off diagonal, we get like uh, you know u2 transpose u1, like the uh, the inner products of like distinct vectors. Okay, so here we get like u u1 transpose u3, for example, and so on. Um, so now if Q is an orthonormal basis, what are all these different values? Well, U1 transpose U1, that's the inner product of U1 with U1, that's 1. So all in the diagonals are 1s, and all in the off diagonals are the inner products of like distinct vectors, which are 0. That's what it means to be orthonormal. So we have 1s on the diagonal. We have zeros everywhere else. We have the identity matrix, okay, showing us that if u1 up to un, if the columns of q are an orthonormal basis, then q transpose q equals the identity. So q is orthonormal, or sorry, q is orthogonal. Now, if if q is orthogonal. Then if all then um, then Q inverse equals Q transpose. So also Q Q transpose equals the identity, and that is just another way of saying that Q transpose is the orthogonal. And here we need to know that. Um, We need to know that for a square matrix, we're just going to take this as given, but for a square matrix, if A and B are n by n, such that AB equals the identity, then A and B are invertible, then like and B is just A inverse. Okay, we're going to just take that for granted for now, at this point. Okay. Okay, so Q transpose is orthogonal. Okay, so if Q is orthogonal, Q transpose is orthogonal, which means, and the, the col so that means that the columns, oh yeah, so okay. 
So I'm supposed to show that the, these four things are equivalent, and I did this implies this, and this implies this. Now if Q transpose is orthogonal, what does that mean? Oh yeah, so actually two and three, since Q transpose transpose is just Q, two and three are equivalent. Okay. Now if I can show that two and one are equivalent, I'll be done because um, because the, the columns of Q transpose are just the rows of Q. Okay. So really I need to show if Q is orthogonal then the columns of Q are an orthonormal basis. So, but I mean it's just this, um, it's just this formula again, right? If Q is orthogonal, Q transpose Q, the identity is just Q transpose Q, which is just U1 transpose up to UN transpose times U1 up to UN, which is just a matrix consisting of like the different inner products. And so on. And if this is the identity, well, it just means like UI transpose UI is one and UI transpose UJ is zero for I not equal to J. In other words, you, the U's form an orthonormal basis. that proof. Um, let me just tell you like there's a similar statement for unitary matrices. Okay, so the fault so let U be n by n complex with complex entries and the following are equivalent. Um, one columns of U from an orthonormal basis to U is unitary three U transpose is unitary four U conjugate is unitary. Five U star is unitary, meaning conjugate transpose. And of course, if any of those is unitary, well, their columns will also be an orthonormal basis. Okay, so. Um, if you take one unitary matrix, you get a bunch of different uh, orthonormal bases for CN. Oh yeah, of an orthonormal basis of CN. Okay. And the proof is um, similar. More or less. Okay. We can combine um, the 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 last thing I want to show I want to see is that um, 
blessing for now the following proposition um, U and V are going to be unitary and by n matrices and W is unitary M by M then um, u times v is unitary and u plus like direct sum of u and w uh, remember that just means a block matrix with u and w on the diagonal and zeros on the off diagonal so this is an n plus m by n plus m matrix and this is also unitary and the last thing is that the determinant of u equals 1 in absolute value or rather in modulus okay. and these things are uh, not so not so bad to see. Okay. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, the next video we're gonna like our goal is um, to kind of do row reduction, but in a way where we preserve lengths as much as possible. Okay, so see you in the next video, I hope. Bye.